Hey everybody, it's Chris with Killer Arcade Games. I'm back again for another Gameplay Mondays. In this case, this may be released on a holiday Monday, but hopefully you'll still watch it. Hopefully you'll still enjoy it too. Maybe some of you are at work. I know not everybody gets the day off. I'm not sure how well this one's going to go. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Sports games kind of fit the playthrough Mondays, I think. They're, it's going to be a shorter video than usual, but since it is kind of a holiday Monday, I'm going to go with this one. NFL Blitz 2000 is my favorite Blitz game. Uh, it's not the one I run by default on this cabinet for a number of reasons. I don't really get into them that much. The emulation is not perfected or 100% on Blitz 2000. It's kind of a little wonky at times, so I just run Blitz 99 by default on this cabinet. But this is my favorite Blitz gameplay-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and put the credits in, and we'll do a full game. I'm not going to enter my name because I find that... If you don't enter your name, uh, it, there's a chance the game's going to take it easier on you, but who knows, it may go the other way. I don't want to get completely stomped. Uh, we'll leave it alone. I don't need to customize. Got to do huge head. I think there's huge, yeah, big football too, so it's, it's going to look ridiculous. Giant football, giant heads, but it'll still be fun. Um... Yeah, okay, make sure everything's going well. See, he's got a giant nog in there and a huge football in his hands. Uh, hopefully you guys are having an okay Monday. Hopefully you're off. If, if you are off, let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Um, I hope that it finds everybody in a good position, but I understand some of you aren't in the U.S. and you may not have the day off anyway. Uh, it's Memorial Day here, and I'm fairly certain nobody else uh, celebrates that, obviously. So... For you out of town or out of country people, you probably are stuck at work and mad that we have the day off. But you guys get days off that we don't get off either. So let's see. I don't know. Let's try combat with a K. I've never played that play. I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit, which may make me lose this game. I always end up just playing the same plays. That may be an interception. Okay. Okay. Fourth down. We're not doing that. I'm not kicking the. Whoa. That is a long way. Okay. No problem. We'll get it. Maybe. Nope. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, seriously, okay. So that was one of the times Blitz did not cheat me. Um, if anything, I think Blitz let me have that win. I'm not going to push it. I'm going to take the extra point for free. This still is one of my favorite cabinets uh, in the arcade here that I've made. It just looks amazing. It's such a good looking cabinet. And the control deck is probably my favorite part because it does match uh, the original arcade. I've actually looked it up just to make sure it, it matches it really, really well. It's a custom deck. It's not going to be my only custom deck soon though. Um, I'm sure by the time this comes out I won't be talking about it or I won't have talked about it before. But I do have a Killer Instinct remod coming. Okay, what was that? Anyway, a remodel of the Killer Instinct cabinet and someone, a very nice friend of the channel uh, has sent me a custom deck for it. So I've just got to get the right art and then I will start showing that off. I'm not going to give his name. Well, I'll say it. Thanks, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. But I, I want to be sure I give him the proper credit later. So in the video, he'll definitely be credited properly on that one. I've just got to find the right art for uh, Killer Instinct. I, I don't know if anybody out there makes or knows how to make the art exactly like the original arcade had. I mean, they come close, these third-party sellers, but no one's matched it perfectly yet. Alright, so Blitz, like I said, I end up picking the same plays a lot. Hurricane's great because they, yeah, they do this play against you and you can throw almost immediately to this guy. He's wide open. And there you go. And the stiff arm helps out quite a bit. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Stop the clock. I'm not going to rush through these screens because I usually do when I'm playing, but Stop the clock. It gives you little tips here. This is something I didn't even read as a kid. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't read it, but uh, didn't, never paid attention to any of those screens. I was probably looking at the ladies, but even that didn't really probably wasn't that exciting to me at the time. So Ooh, let's see if it, he's on almost on fire. Oh my god, that's what I get for trying to do that. All right. Well, they you know that's fair. I was owed that one screwing after they gave me the last touchdown, basically. They could have easily tackled me before I even made it to the first down, let alone get the touchdown. They almost essentially pushed me farther ahead. It was weird. I like doing the goal lines. I like trying to tackle them, stuff them, or uh, sack them, stuff them. Sack them before they can even get going. And sometimes this works. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, come on. All right. So they're probably going for it, I'd imagine. Oh, wow, they kicked that? 
Not even close to good on that one. So I know this cabinet is a, a favorite among people of the channel too, because I've been asked, this is probably, outside of Killer Instinct, this is the cabinet I get asked all the time. People say, let me buy that cabinet from you. It's like, I, I don't want to sell this cabinet. Not yet at least, maybe one of these days. I did consider, and I have considered many times buying, I don't have room for a four player. I maybe could fit it if I just smashed it between the wall here, but I considered buying the four player. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, come on. Anyway, uh, buying the four player NBA Jam cabinet and then just really investing some money into this project and building my own computer, which would basically be a pretty high-end processor, like a, a, Core i, a Core i5-9600, I think, is what it takes to emulate NBA Showtime. So I'd love to put... No, I didn't get on fire. Okay. Anyway, I'd love to put NBA Showtime on here properly. I have it. It plays, but it plays slow, and it bothers me, and I really like that one. Of all the NBA games, that's by far my favorite. So anyway, I've thought about doing it, but I would like to redo the art at that point. At, at that point, I might as well just sell the cabinet and start fresh. I should not have picked that play. I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. I'm about to lose the ball anyway, but I'm going to hopefully they... Nope, they're not going there, so we're going to run it. Oh, look at that jump. Look at that stiff arm. Look at that jump. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go for it one more time. Oh, it's a bad play. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to kick the ball. Oh, I threw the ball still. I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead and kick it. That's pretty much perfect. Ooh. So I do know people have made blitz cabinets after seeing mine and using my How to Mod an Arcade 1-Up video. And if you're interested in doing that, it's not specific to blitz, it's just kind of like a general this is how you mod an Arcade 1-Up, but check the description, I'll link to it. Um, there's been at least two or three people who've showed me pictures of their blitz cabinet and said that they used my video or I inspired them to do it in some way, which is really cool to hear, I always love hearing that stuff. Still blows me away that I had no plans to ever start a YouTube channel about this stuff. And that one video took off and I just kept going. But, um, and then, you know, everyone was modding with uh, Raspberry Pi, which personally I think is pointless if you ever want to play anything other than, you know, 70s, 80s, and early 90s games. But other than that, it's PC all the way for me, and there was no tutorial on how to do that, so I went ahead and made one, and again, I really thought, like, man, some people will use it, possibly, it'll be cool. I didn't think that there'd be the amount of people that have watched it and have actually messaged me saying they, they made a cabinet using my video, which is really cool to hear. Especially since that video, I've actually made two of those now, there's two versions, the new version's of course the better one, but that blows me away that all that time that was put into it actually paid off. I was kind of worried making it, thinking, who's gonna watch a 45 to an hour long, uh, 45 minute to an hour long video. Oh, couldn't interrupt it. About how to mod an arcade one up and actually follow it. And to my surprise, lots of you did. So very cool. I remember when I released that, I was heading out of town, going to Angel Fire to go ride my bike, my mountain bike in, in the mountains. And it's like, I sure hope this does well. And it looked like it was, so that was good to hear. I think I spent probably three weeks on that video alone, and I mean, tons of work. Oh, I did not mean to pick that play. I was trying to change the page. Uh-oh. I want him. Oh, I did not want him. But, okay. Yeah, we're getting that ball across. Screw that. Here we go. Look at that. That's okay. I think the reason I picked this game is because I realized it was going to be on a holiday. Oh, I got to throw it. Okay. I knew it was going to be on a holiday, and holidays for some reason, especially, uh, I guess not necessarily that holiday, uh, Memorial Day, but they always make me think of football because it's America and we love some football. So here you go, football on a holiday. Hopefully you enjoy this. Enjoy this. Hopefully you're, I don't want to say hopefully you're at work, but hopefully you can actually watch it. I'm going with the free. I'm not risking it because if they score and then score again on me, which could easily happen since this is NFL Blitz and they're kind of cheap, at times, uh, I don't want to have any problems. I thought we'd have a new Blitz girl this time. That's fine. Another tip there, I'll leave that up for a second. That's actually how I learned, if, I can't remember what tip I learned, but I actually read it there. I was like, oh, you idiot. Oh, that's that's right, how to do an onside kick. I could never figure it out when I was a kid. All I knew is the game would do it against you, the AI would. 
so it would make sure you fumbled almost every time when it did it. And I was like, well, how do I do that to them? And sure enough, it almost never works out for you when you do it, but either way, oh, I was hoping to sack him. It's all right. Oh, get the, oh, he caught it still. Get out of here. There are rumblings of this coming to Arcade 1UP. I don't know if you guys watched all my videos. You may just be finding this. Arcade 1UP has said they're, you know, trying to get it to happen, but man, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Oh, they tricked me. Drop that dude, okay, good. But yeah, I don't know how, how on earth they could emulate this. This is a Core i5 4590 processor, I think. And this thing is struggles at times if it's snowy on the field. Oh, what? I guess he didn't hit the ground until he, till he was out of bounds. But yeah, if you listen closely on foggy stages, you'll hear some audio crackles in this. And it's just, these games take a lot of power to emulate. So it's highly unlikely they would rework the entire game to make it run on you know low-end hardware. So, emulation's probably, oh, look at my big head sticking out. Emulation's probably the only way it's going to happen, is what I'm saying, basically. Okay, here we go. Oh, you cheating. <laughs> Every time. That's all right. At least they're way back here now, so I can hopefully push them into a touchback. Let's see. I don't know. I, the game almost never lets you get a touchback on it. Oh, I just ran through them. This is the only... A uh, game where I've actually damaged it by <laughs> smashing the buttons to death. I usually go like that and get all excited and try to tackle a bunch of guys after the play's over. And I was doing that the other day and I actually heard a screw again. This has already happened once, but I heard a screw fall out from under the deck, which I think is what's holding this side of the joystick on. It fell out and went, uh, and it probably landed on top of the computer somewhere. Yes. I'm going to score again on that cheap move. So I think I'm just going to quit beating the heck out of this cabinet and getting all excited. It's funny, it's the only cabinet I ever get mad at. Because this game cheats ridiculously. Oh, that was bad. I almost threw it right to him. He got tackled right then. Okay, here we go. Yep, I knew that was going in. I might as well go for the, the extra points because it's not like we don't have time. Oh, and they picked the right play for me here. Look at this. Right in there. Got tackled, but right in there. Oh, I should have done an onside kick to see if they would cheat. Look at this. Okay, I thought he was going to be able to get through all that. Let's just go deep zone every time. They're not going to have any chance. Dead. So this was a blowout, really. I would have liked it to have been a little bit closer, but it's better than um, getting destroyed on my own video here. And that's the ball game. Look at that. A little bit of audio problems right there with some emulation, so I I guess it's the snowy field. Something about that snowy field causes trouble. Um, let me see if I can actually get this question answered right. I know virtually nothing about football, so uh, I know how to play the game. I just don't know all the stats and everything of everybody, and th they always ask you a trivia question at the end, so I'm going to let this screen sit for a second, and then I'll put it up there and try to guess the right one. I'm literally guessing in almost all cases. Who holds the Falcons marked for most touchdowns in a season. I don't know any of these names. I'm a terrible Texan, aren't I? Even though Falcons have nothing to do with it. But Texas football, we love football here. I'm gonna just, I'm looking away. Jeez, that sucked. I should've just let the time run out. I would've got it right. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this one short. I could've played another game, but let's see how this does. Let's see if you guys like the, the sports games. If you do, I guess I'll just show you now. I've got plenty of other Midway Sports Games on here, 2 on 2 Open Ice Challenge, NBA Hang Time, NBA Jam, Maximum Hang Time, which is the better version of Hang Time. I don't really know why I have both on there. Of course, we've got NBA Showtime. I can play this one. It's just it runs about 90% speed of the real arcade, which is sad. It has a lot of audio problems. I love this game so much. I like it so much. In fact, instead of building a computer, I considered finding the arcade board that comes with Blitz and Showtime and putting it in a modded arcade one up, but those are so expensive I may as well just build my own computer at that point. We got regular uh, regular Blitz, Blitz 99 like I said. I don't know if I'll play through both of these unless several people really want to see some other Blitz games, but just let me know. I also have this one. Um, this is probably the least played game on this cabinet. I don't, I thought this was a better game than it is. This one's actually Atari, but Atari was essentially Midway stuff at that point, and uh, I don't know. 
it's not as good as I remember. I remember playing it once or twice in the arcades. I don't love it, so I don't know if I'll jump into that one, but let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more sports games? Would you rather I just stick to fighting games and other shooting games and maybe even some racing games, which I'd love to play for you guys? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know how your Monday's going. Are you off? Are you working? Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this made your Monday better if it wasn't going great. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video.